tell them about what your jobs are on the show. Okay. What is my job? You're the host. Yes, I am the host. Uh, I am the host, so usually <laughs> um, I'm the one that really sits behind the board. Um, I could control, I think, all the systems, all the imaging, bring that all in, um, kind of thinking and knowing where the brakes are going to go before we hit the air, kind of having a vision like a kind of a room operator, if you want to say it in a sense, making sure, hey, you say this here, you kind of do that there, um, and kind of keeping everything on time, making sure you hit the top of the hour on time, which is uh, very important. Um, Kind of those types of things. Um, and your role on the mic is like more of the straight kind of guy. Uh, yeah, I'm more. Dry. Yeah, I'm more straightforward, kind of dry, a uh, little bit sarcastic. Um, whereas Puff can be the a more bit. Puff can be the more emotional bird of the show. <laughs> I'm know, a cancer. M- emotional bird, and I go, ah, come on, stop being this, you know. So. I'm j- creating a morning show is just like casting a TV show. So every person has to be different and have their role. So that's kind of why we, we do what we do. No, okay. No, and, and I'm obviously I'm the co-host on the show. We do, we're very rare. Everything that from money up and down, we split 50-50, which is unheard of in our industry. That happen, right? That we are the only, I can guarantee you, there is no one that does that. And we do that because we've seen too many shows split apart, friendships, friendships and because of that. So... We split everything 50-50. I focus because radio is no longer radio. Radio is now everything. It's social media, 100 million percent. We were talking about that. It's time your, to get Facebook and your life is. do that in here. You live on your phone. That's your life, right? It's your life. What would you do without your phone for a day? You'd probably be like, oh, my God, you go crazy. So I take, I'm, I run the Snapchat, Rat and Puff Show. All of our stuff is the same. It's Rat and Puff Show. So everything you see, like I'm basically running while he's doing that. Uh, phones, text, um, content, creating content is the biggest thing uh, for for any show. Yeah. I mean, it's who, who, why do you listen to someone? Like, why would you choose to listen to us over, uh, you know, plugging your phone in and just listening to music in your car? Why would you listen to us over, you know, satellite radio? Or why would you listen to us over another radio show? We, we, the one thing that I credit ourselves on is that we provide content days before every other TV and radio show in the city. And I put my paycheck on the line on that because we literally watch TV and go, we just covered that yesterday. We, we, list, we hear other shows or we, we study. So, like, we, we know what's going on in the city and we definitely see this show's doing this today. We did that on Monday and it's Wednesday or Thursday. So I feel like you provide good content. You're a real person. You don't lose focus on who you are no matter what you do in life, even if you don't wind up pursuing radio or television, you stay the course and make your own course while you're staying that course. So stay the course, but go off a little bit. Be who you are, be an individual. Don't follow, don't be a sheep, Yeah. right? And be unique. And that's where it's like, that's the difficulty in media. Mm-hmm. So when you watch television, everyone's similar, which is not a bad thing. Listen to radio, a lot of people are similar. You literally have, do you have a connection with someone or could that person just be replaced like this? If that's the case, then you're not being unique. Yeah. So. Well, I'm the executive producer of the show. Uh, I also happen to be on air, which is kind of rare for an executive producer because you're in control of so many things behind the scenes. So I take care of everything that goes on behind the scenes. Um, the content that goes on the show, I try to schedule it. I provide them with a schedule. I look at my job as a buffet chef. I cook tons of food in the morning. I prepare all of this prep. <laughs> I, comp- I, I, I have all of this information for them. I compile it to a sheet and in, in broken down by five minutes. Like every five minutes of the show is documented of what, what we should be doing. And then I have a, columns with extra stuff. If we get lost, we go over, something's not working. I got columns with teases and prizes. I can make sure that everything's prepared for them. And I just sit there like this and I cook all the food and then I kick it over to them and I say eat. And I don't care if there's tons of food left, as long as they both leave f- full, as long as they're both satisfied. A lot of my job doesn't get used. And a lot of people in my position don't stay in my position long because they don't feel like valued. They're like, I do all of this work and they don't even use half of it. But you had a great show, dude. Why do you care? The show was great. That's your job is to do a great show. So uh, that one thing in my job is you can't have an ego because it's the rat and puff show. And even, I'm part of the show and I understand that. 
but it's the Rat and Puff show. So I have to make sure that they are the superstars, that, I, that they look like they know all this information that I'm like, I just gave them all that stuff. Like, he's a funny guy. You can't have an ego in my job. It's the Rat and Puff show. I'm a support position. My job is to make sure they have everything they need. On the air, my job is to be kind of a jerk, a little bitty, because I don't want anybody to not like them. It's okay to not like me. It's okay for him to be sarcastic, but he's, he's so likable. And Puff, I mean, he's just, everybody wants to hug Puff. He's cuddly. And me, I'm like that. Cuddly. Like, <laughs> he is. I hug him every morning if you watch our Snapchat. <laughs> so, my, but my, sir, I, I have to make sure the timing is right. I, I deal with sales after the show. I deal with promotions after the show. I deal with management. I am literally running back and forth like this, just checking everything out. Making sure things are on time, making sure he's focused, he's watched, he's on, on the show. I follow the latest news to make sure there's nothing breaking that we need to be talking about. Watching what's going on on TV, uh, controlling the phone calls, dealing with the intern. Well, we don't have interns, but dealing with the, the other producer of the show or co-host of the show. And then it's kind of keeping them in the right mood. It's, it's, it's funny because the, the room needs to have a certain vibe for the show to be good. And there's a lot of times a, there's an energy that's going on, whether it's just something silly between them because they've been friends for so long. They could say one thing and it's just like, you know, they just get on each other's nerves. So like fast. a married couple. Oh. And he'll just sit there and watch and he'll try to stop it. And we'll just go back and forth. It'll, it'll just yes. be a battle back and forth. Because he won't stop and he won't stop. And they just never, they want to get the last word on each other. And mine's like, I got a minute. All right, I got 12 <laughs> seconds. It's coming up. Shut up already. Three, two, 98.7 Amp Radio. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So it's keeping the energy, keeping the energy good and making sure that they're prepared. Everything, it's literally to the point where, okay, we're coming out of this commercial. Do you know what you're going to say? Do you know how you're opening the break? Do you know what we're going to do after this break so when we get to the end of it, you know how to get out? So you make sure that they're just prepared for every break. And you take every break almost like uh, a different play in football or, or basketball or whatever it is. It's like, okay, you're going to go deep on this one. We don't always hit the – what we try. Or volleyball. You know, you know, volleyball. <laughs> bump, set, and spike, but sometimes you bump it over. There you go. So that's kind of what, what I do. Most executive producers will stay off air and do the same thing. They'll answer the phone calls. It's kind of, because phone calls, it's the third voice. It's another voice on our show. And that's how we get the, the female representation on our show. We just let our, our, our callers talk. And the majority of our listeners are female. We have a 70-30 split of female to male. So the majority of the voices you'll hear are going to be female anyway. So that's how we get that perspective on the show. Uh, one of the things that I'm proud of uh, that I do as my job, and I love to use this analogy, is that I feel like I just made them superheroes. They just became Captain America because I am the best shield in the business. Nothing gets through me. Anytime that there's something bad happens, it doesn't go to them. It's my fault. Anytime that something is terrible that you need to do, it, I, they're not doing it. I have to do it. If we have to sit with sales meetings for hours on end, they don't do it. I do it. I make sure they go out and live their lives. So when they come in, they're happy, they're fresh, they want to be there. If you walk into a building and you're like, oh, God, I'm going to be here all day. This is terrible. You're never going to do anything well. And if you feel that way, stop coming. Don't do your job. Get a different job. You're not going to be happy in your life, and it's just going to be a job to get a paycheck. Stop it. That's my, my advice to you kids is quit the jobs you hate. Right now, right now, you can't quit. Right now, you have to understand what it is that you hate. You have to work in burgers and fries. So when you're working burgers and fries and you're sitting there, what are you dreaming about doing? What are you thinking about doing? What, where would you want to be right now? That's where you focus on. Get your burgers and fries. Get your experience. Get your car insurance paid. Get your car insurance paid, yeah. And, but focus, whatever that thought is while you're doing the, the worst job that you're doing, that you hate whatever it is that you're doing, whatever that thought is, that's your passion. Follow that. 